Dr. Neil Mohan, uh, it's such a privilege to have you here. Same. And it's absolutely a pleasure meeting you. Same. I wanted to ask you a small question. And it's a very basic question. Uh, it's about how is the gut, uh, how is it affecting our health? And the, the other thing is, why should we understand all about gut as, as ordinary people? Tell very me about interesting that. Interesting question. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I always never understood and believed why people used to talk about that Nanika Nuskas. So when I was doing my medical college MBBS, and I remember very vividly that uh, a boy, a man came uh, to me and he said, Ki, uh, both acidity hoti hai and, sar pe chad jati hai. and I looked at my friend and I laughed. <laughs> and looking retrospectively, how much I've matured or I mean, I was wrong and he was right because it looks so absurd for somebody to say ki upar chad jati hai, you know. But over the days, now I realize that gentleman was not wrong and I, as a young medical student, was not able to understand it. Okay. So there are a lot of things that we now understand is uh, if I retrospectively see what is the thing that I've learned in the last 20 years of my career and been, I mean, I've been practicing as a consultant from 1999. So you can see I have two and a half decades of right. experience as a, yeah. a pediatric gastroenterologist and a liver specialist. And what I have changed in my thoughts now is most of the diseases that you're talking about, the lifestyle diseases or the non-communicable diseases are all related to gut. Everything. So, Surprisingly, the number of papers that have come are 3,000 in the last like 10, 15 years where we are trying to understand how gut is relating to chronic diseases, whether we are talking about uh, your joint issues, your cardiac issues, your uh, diabetes, your fatty liver, being a liver specialist. So I, so that and especially two and a half thousand papers have come in the last five, seven oh years. God. So our understanding is that do we live with someone that means the, the microbiota in your body is much more than your own cells. So if we have like 10 to the power of 13 cells, the microbiota is 10 to the power of 14. So it's oh like a trillion cells in you mm -hmm. and the weight is 2 kg, which is more than your brain and my brain. <laughs> so, uh, your brain more than me. <laughs> So what we realize is that we need to live in harmony. I mean, these microbiota have to live in harmony. Mm -hmm. And the basic things which we forgot mm. is how to keep your gut microbiota healthy. Mm -hmm. The way you can keep them in harmony. So we call it eubiosis. Eubiosis. And okay. if they become like the bad bacteria go up, and the good bacteria come down, that's called dysbiosis. Oh, okay, okay. So what is happening is our cells, like they are this way, the gut is like a lumen with the cells. Mm -hmm. So they have like a covering over them and a tight junctions. So when the bad bacteria get up, this, the layer which is there in the gut, for a layman, hmm. imagine ki uski coating jo thi, jo achhi bacteria wo gar -gar ho gai, ya jo cells the, hmm. wo cubicle scale ke beech mein thoda leak ho gaya aur hmm. aap absorb kar rahe ho. To aapko jo protein ya jo cheez absorb karni chahiye shareer mein, hmm. jo nahi karni chahiye, wo leaky gut ke badle, wo bhi aapki oh, okay. blood mein ja raha hai, the toxins. And that's so not, that's, that's not going news. into your blood. That's not good news. Exactly. So hmm. that is why this dysbiosis, the gut is giving rise to problems like fatty liver, heart disease, diabetes and mm -hmm. all. And the way people are now treating it is through gut. That right. means if you have a fatty liver, I assume if it is non-alcoholic, mm -hmm. then if it is related to overweight, obesity and this, mm -hmm. the best way I can work is through your gut. Thanks a lot for the insight. I've already learned a lot from you. <laughs> I'll tell one more yeah. thing about yeah. children. Yes. Now, when it comes to children, uh, we see a lot of, you may not see in children chronic diseases, mm -hmm. like what you're seeing in adults. Mm -hmm. But please understand that the seedling of the problems that you see in adults are laid in childhood. 
Oh, it takes okay. two to three decades for these to manifest. Two to three decades, I mean, exactly. right into your uh, adulthood. adulthood. Okay. So if you want to work in adulthood, they say don't, you don't need to work at that. You start to work in your childhood. Sure. Get them the right values about right eating and right, because all these problems like constipation, diarrhea, mm. functional GI disorders in children when mm. we come, bachon ko pet darad ho rai, bachay mm. ko constipation hai, bachay mm. irritable hai, bachay, ye saari problem mm. functional joh hume nahi samaj aata tha, hum mm. usko label kar dete te function. Functional mm. matlab, कोई ज्यादा सीरियस बात नहीं है लेकिन बात सीरियस नहीं है लेकिन वो हमें नहीं समझ आता था और हमें हम उनको फंक्शनल बोलते थे और अब हमें समझ आ रहा है व्हाट यू आर सेइंग फंक्शनल आर ऑल दीस डिजीजेस वेयर योर डिसबायोसिस इज हैपनिंग एंड गिविंग राइज टू सो एंटेना शुड गो अप इफ द चाइल्ड कंप्लेंस ऑफ एनी ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड यू मस्ट मीट एन एक्सपर्ट वेयर वी नीड टू वर्क एंड सी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट यू नो टेकिंग योर डिजीजेस फॉर My eyes are open now. Thank you. Thanks a lot.